video, we, I will show how to do CR encoder check and PF encoder check. So to start with, we will go in diagnostic mode by holding load and eject uh, buttons, reverse, next and forward on the control panel, hold all five together, and then turn the power on. Keep these button pressed until you see check test on the control panel screen. Once you see check test, let them go. Wait till the load and eject LED goes to red. At the moment it shows blue or turquoise. Before you press load, make sure bed has been pushed in or preloaded uh, in loaded position. And once you press load, as you see, the LED goes green. Now you can con uh, access the control panel. So to go back to the main menu, you press cancel twice. Now it shows check, twist, uh, check test. So now we have to uh, scroll, uh, enter the check test menu and scroll to find encoder. Press enter. First is CR encoder. So we will lift the cover. To check that, we unlock the carriage. Now, coming back to the CR encoder, as you can see already, there's a value. It shows 046. And gently move this and move back. Uh, the carriage to the home position and check that the numbers are actually counting down going back to where it was before that way you confirm that encoder is working in both direction if it shows numbers in one direction in all zeros or F all F's in one direction that that means the CR encoder is faulty so as you can see, it is counting up and counting down in both directions as I'm moving the CR belt. Now we will check. So this is a good CR encoder sensor. Now we will check uh, PF encoder. So I will park the printhead on the capping station and cancel, uh, enter. Next is PF encoder. So for that, we will move the bed out. And as you can see, the moment I do that, the numbers change. As I push the belt, push the bed in, you see numbers start counting down. So the same concept, if it is counting up and down in both direction, the sensor is working. This is how we do the PF encoder and CR encoder test.